Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, June 2nd, the second day of the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. So we're coming on today to give you a quick update about what's going on here at the start of the season. Talk a little bit about the hurricane seasonal forecast and about some preparation uh, tips and uh, ideas that you can carry forward to keep you and your loved ones safe as we head into this uh, hurricane season. So looking at the big picture satellite imagery here on the second day of June, things are pretty quiet across the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean as you would normally expect this time of year in terms of tropical cyclone activity. But we do have a front that extends from the Western Atlantic across Florida into the Gulf and you can see widespread shower and thunderstorm activity uh, ongoing here in this region extending from the Bahamas down into Cuba and even into the Northwestern Caribbean and so we are watching that uh, system as it starts to lift back north we are expecting to see a non-tropical area of low pressure form in the next couple of days and then move up here to the north and northeast along or near the southeastern coast of the United States and we uh, have a low chance only 10 percent of development into a tropical cyclone over the next week or so but this system as it moves just offshore or near the coast or perhaps just inland is likely to enhance some heavy rainfall along the southeast coast of the United States over the next several days through the remainder of this work week. So just a great reminder that now that we are in hurricane season, you can come here to the hurricanes.gov website and every six hours we'll be issuing this tropical weather outlook talking about what systems could be forming across the Atlantic basin out through the next seven days. So we have our first system that we're watching here again with a low chance of development. And this is pretty typical for June. This is where we tend to see storms form in the first month of the hurricane season pretty close to the United States. So we can have systems form and then affect land areas within just a couple of days across the Gulf through Florida and into the southwestern Atlantic off the southeast and mid-Atlantic coast of the United States. So that's how we typically see formation happen. Uh, as we look at the forecast for the entire 2025 hurricane season, this is NOAA's forecast. We have a 60% chance of seeing above normal levels of activity across the basin. We're expecting between 13 and 19 named storm systems becoming at least tropical storms. Six of 10 of those going on to become hurricanes, three to five of those about going on to become major hurricanes, categories three, four, or five on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. So we are expecting a busy season. And with that, this is a good reminder of how you need to prepare to get you and your friends and loved ones safe uh, for the upcoming hurricane season. You really need to develop an evacuation plan, and that starts by knowing what your risk is. If you live in a storm surge evacuation zone, you need to know where you're gonna go if you're asked to evacuate by local officials, how you're gonna get there, what you're gonna take with you. You wanna assemble disaster supply kit, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Uh, you wanna get an insurance checkup to uh, make sure you protect your property and your possessions. Create a communication plan with your loved ones and make sure you have a handwritten list of contacts in case you lose the means to electronically communicate. Find out where you're gonna meet, how you're gonna communicate in the aftermath of a storm, and also take steps now to strengthen your home. And if we think about that emergency supply kit that you can use for hurricanes or any other natural disaster, uh, you wanna make sure you have several days of non-perishable food and water, any necessary medicine, including prescriptions that you might need, keep your gas tank full so that if you do have to leave your home or ask to evacuate, you're able to do so. Make sure you have cash on hand and make sure you can uh, communicate old school with a battery powered radio, uh, ways to charge your electronic devices so that you can uh, communicate in the aftermath of a storm. So again, just a reminder, you can always come back here to Hurricane Hurricanes.gov will be with you throughout the uh, uh, 2025 hurricane season, providing you updates on any potential systems and storms as they form and move across the basin. And we'll be here uh, all throughout the season. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.